All right, I'm looking at another Fibble today. Uh, Fibble is like Wordle, but on each row, one of the clues is a lie. So we're starting with Limit here, and um, hmm, what would be good to do? I usually like to, you know, kind of repeat letters. Uh, I think Timid could be good. Let's go with that. Okay, well, interesting. So, okay, one of these two eyes is a lie, clearly, the gray or the green. And on that row that that one is the lender, they could both be lies, but at least one of them is. And on that row, the M and the gray I will have to be true. So they are true on both. Now, okay, so the T's, now this this could work out that they're both true. Um, yeah, we really don't know. They can't both be lies, obviously. Ah, ah, so they can't both be lies because we know one of these I's is a lie. So there is a T in the word. Let's see, let's do digit. That seems decent. Okay, so we know this one's true. Interesting, so. Right, so similar to how we knew one of these two I's in the first and the second rows were true, meaning the M and the I had to be, or one of those two was a lie, I mean the M and the I had to be true. We can do the same with the first and the third row. One of these two I's has to be a lie, at least, which means the green T is true. Which makes me think the yellow T is probably true, but um, we don't know that for sure, though. Now, the, if the D's were lies, they would have to both be lies. If one of the D's is a lie, they're both lies. But that's possible. That's certainly possible. Um, so, they're either both true or they're both lies. Uh, what if, no, that's not possible. I was gonna say, what about light as a possibility? But if it was light, that would mean the L and the I up here were both lies. But it could be something like fight, or, ooh, let's, let's do, hmm, let's do sight, let's try that. Okay, well we know the T is the lie here, which means the rest of these are true, which then means that this is true, this is true, these are lies, which then means the rest of these are true, and this has to be a lie. Ooh, so there is an L. Okay, so there's no I, there's, just the one T, I think. I mean, I guess we don't know that for sure because this T could be pointing, I mean, there could be more than one T and that would still be yellow and green, yeah. But there is an L. So all we have is the L and T right now. Uh, what about something like fault? That seems pretty good. F, A, and U are all new letters. New spot for the L. Okay, okay, that was really good. So. Uh, we know there is an L in the word, right? Because the gray L is the lie. So either this is true or it's supposed to be an L and that's the lie. Which could be vault then? That would be possible, let's go with that. It was vault, all right, there we go. Very nice, so that L was the lie, all right. So it's not my fault if the limitations of my sight prevent me from figuring out the digits because I'm being Timid, I guess? I don't know. Something. <laughs> uh, anyways, let me know how you did with today's Fibble, and be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. But that got me thinking, what does your welcome mean? And why do we say it? Or for that matter, what does... Okay, okay, so that's where the R is. Uh, so the C and the H and the Y are no good, so there's gotta be an O. Oh, wonder, wonder. Okay, so we can do, ooh, ooh, we have peaking. It could be speaking, actually.